Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a watercolor illustration, sort of warm-up exercise thing. I've been feeling a little creatively blocked, so I think this is a good exercise for anyone at home that's kind of feeling this way as well. Um, it's less about like creating a huge illustration, as you can see I only have these like two and a half inch by two and a half inch squares here so just like making small little things that just you know spark creativity so in this video I'm going to be going to be doing the watercolor washes or blobs I'm gonna be referring to them as blobs a lot just kind of haphazardly putting them on to these little pieces of watercolor paper I cut out earlier and then once all that's dry I'm gonna go in with my micron pens and turn those blobs into little illustrations. It really, I don't have a plan for what they're gonna be. It's just, you know, it's all about just sparking my creativity and making things on the fly. So I originally wanted my boyfriend to do the watercolor blob part so that I wouldn't be like accidentally like create things with an idea. I wanted to be surprised when I did the illustrations, but he had to work today and I'm on a bit of a strict schedule with my videos, so. Alas, here I am, home alone, watercoloring some blob. I have 12 of these uh, paper thingies, so I think I'll probably do one per each color and then I'll start doing some like multicolored ones towards the end, so let's start with just this red. And then I'm just gonna, you know, we're blobbing it on. Maybe adding a lot of water so we get some fun variants. Do a little bit of splattering here. I like that. It definitely looks a little bit like blood. All right, for this one we're doing brown. I think I want to do a wash of water first. Lots of pigment on here. Just kind of dab it. Maybe turn it. Oh, that's cool. I just want to do some more of these like super concentrated spots. And then, yeah. I think I like that. I think I just kind of want to do like a shape, something a little more like obvious. Nice circle. Just fit it in. Get some dry brushing around the outside. Now as you can see we have two very different techniques here. We have very dry brush, heavy pigment, and then very, very wet techniques there. I'm like, that looks like Lumpy Space Princess. <laughs> Alright, so I think you kind of get the idea. I'm going to do a little fast forward motion for these last four. Just to get through them a little bit faster for the video. See you in a minute. All right, I've just finished painting all of these squares. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let everything dry completely and then we'll be right back. All right, all of my little watercolor squares are dry. Um, the supplies I'm gonna be using, but I have my Micron pens here and then I have my gold, black, silver, and white Posca pen and then a white jelly roll. Gonna turn it around a bunch of different angles and see what kind of piques my interest. From this angle, I kind of see a fish, and then from this angle, I kind of see someone like curtsying with a dress. I don't know what the curtsy. I'm not gonna like do a lot of pre-sketching. I'm just kind of like gonna go for it, you know. 
They're bowing their head. Uh, well, that is <laughs> a mess. It's fine. I'm gonna add in some white details. Help distract from some of that horrible line work over there. That's kind of fun. I feel like, you know, for our first one, that's good. I might get a pencil out in case I do want to do some sketching. Because I feel like if it's a simple thing, it's not too big of a deal. But um, this was a little more complicated and probably could have used a little, little bit of pre-sketching. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. For this one, I see like a fish almost, like a koi fish kind of going in a circle. Oh, my freaking hand slipped. Oh, I hate everything. Guys, why do I suck at drawing all of a sudden? <laughs> So it's making me feel better about my art, no words. <laughs> I'm not really drawn today, so I'm gonna chalk it up to just me uh, need having needed to warm up. <laughs> I'm gonna add some little scales. I think it might be fun if there's like a single uh, gold scale or a couple of gold scales in there. Adding some boo-boos. And there we go. Maybe I'm just rushing it, but I have 12 of them to go through, so I don't want to spend like 30 minutes per one, you know? From this angle, I'm kind of seeing a basket with like two baguettes sticking out or something, and then like maybe a bouquet of flowers. I I almost see like a crab with a shell right here. A hermit crab. And this is, here's the shell. I guess we'll do like a spiral shell. I suck at doing line work. Like I just feel like my hands aren't like confident enough or something. And a little bit of stippling on the legs. Alright, so we got our little hermit crab. This one's weird. Right, this is the one earlier I said kind of looked like Lumpy Space Princess. So I was going to originally do a bundle of grapes and have like a little bunch of funny faces on them, but I feel like that eh, whatever. So I'm gonna do Lumpy Space Princess. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start with gold for the star. I don't do a lot of fan art because, I don't know, I think it's because I went to school, like I went to college for art and fan art is kind of like really looked down upon it's like kind of unspoken though like nobody ever said fan art you but it's like it's just like you it's it's an unspoken like no no like don't do that and it kind of got ingrained into me oh my glob mm. i think i'm gonna outline the star but i want to use it thinner fine liner for that and take my white Posca and do the speckles in her eyes for reference I just googled LSP and there was one of her making this expression so I just kind of rolled with it and her tongue is actually purple so that works out I don't have to go get a different color to color her tongue She's a little bit different shade of purple. She's not this like much of a plum purple. Yeah, and you know what? I think I I'm not gonna. Oh man, what is on my finger? Oh my goodness. Well, that sucks. I'll have to clean that up in post production or something. But I really like this. I might end up putting it on my red bubble because I know that they do. Uh, Adventure Time fan art, like like they allow Adventure Time fan art as long as it gets approved. So I might go do that with this one if you're interested. Uh, for this one, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do because it's just a circle all the way around. So I guess I can just do something cute in the middle of it. I instantly, for some reason, and so I'm just gonna go with my instinct. Want to do like a little like glass jar with cork in it. 
start grabbing my white Posca. Do some detailing on that cork. Then I feel like maybe I should do some kind of like stuff around it. All right, and then going into my itty bitty 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 fine liner here. Let's make these look like something. All right, well these are supposed to look like skulls, but instead they just look like Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> um, but overall, I think this is really cute. I'm gonna sign it. All right, nice little poop smear. Comment down below as I'm doing these. Like, what do you see in the like splatters and stuff? Yo, I look. You can't get this out of my mind, but like, I see like a weird face with like these big old ears. Yeah, that one's weird. What does this tell you about my psychology? I don't know. <laughs> this one's like crazy. Just literally splatter, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save this for later. I don't know. You know what? Actually, I see the Great Wave. The Japanese woodblock print. Maybe I'm just spending too much time on TikTok. Oh, yeah, you see kind of you kind of see what I'm seeing here Kind of following the texture when and where we can okay. Oh wow. I actually really enjoy this one. I hmm, Do I want to add like maybe like a big gold like moon sun sort of thing or maybe silver So I was not expecting like this. Some of them, you know, as I was painting them or like after I like when I was waiting for them to dry, I'd see them in the corner of my eye and be like, oh, it kind of looks like this or that. But like this one was one of the ones that I was like, I have no idea what's going to come out of it. And like, like you said, I, like you saw, I almost put this one to the end because I couldn't think of anything to put in there, but I'm really happy. Will this one be the thumbnail? Ooh, maybe. I guess galaxies are kind of boring because all I did was like put stars. Mm. I don't know. I'm not super happy with that one. This was a hard shape. Really pretty color, so I don't know. Uh, this one gave me galaxy vibes, but it also gives me like bacteria vibes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have fun here. Just like really accentuate all of these little like spore looking things. Hmm, what if I make them kind of like palm tree tops? Some like weird Dr. Seuss trees or something. This one, oh my gosh, this one looks like a sloth. Every now and then the watercolor kind of clumps up on the pen. So I have to clean it off. And then a big old sloth man. Ooh, he's smiling. And rather than like coloring in the shadows around the eyes, I think I'll just take one of my pens and then do like kind of like fur. And how perfect was that though? It looks just like a sloth. Alright. Oh wow, we're on the last one. I say that, but I've been recording for like literally 50 minutes. Like almost an hour already of doing these. Alright. Okay, definitely seeing like a face with a fire hair or something. I'll follow the shapes here. Maybe this is- oh yeah, this is where all the black stuff's coming from. Oh my goodness. I'll do like some more rooty texture. He looks like asparagus head. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this turning blobs <laughs> into artwork video. We definitely had some fails and some that turned out really nice. As well as um, some catastrophic broken pen situations. <laughs> hmm. Uh, so with all that being said, 
Thank you guys. See you next week.